All right, continuing on with Chin. Let's see if we can get a few more moves out and see what's going on. First of all, um, it just occurred to me, I made a really dumb move. Jen's last move of just putting this red over here just to kind of extend off in this direction was nice. There's nothing bad over there. But she had a much better move she could have made with this. So I'm going to undo that and put this uh, single red over here into this spot, which has now made this pavilion a five space super pavilion, which means she gets to put another, um, what do you call it? Pagoda down. And now there's one, two, three purples compared to only two greens, which means Jen has taken that town back. A sudden shift in her favor. And so I say, ouch. But anyway, now back to me, back to uh, my turn. Let's see. So I think, so I've got two yellows, that's really quite nice, and a blue. Uh, and so I could start using these to, you know, piggyback down the way Jen piggybacked over there. I think well, I'll just go ahead and grab this blue and put it over here. Um, and, you know, that's a pagoda. And it will extend down here. And then what do I get? I get a double red. So that's nice. I got a lot of doubles now. Making up for when I didn't have them before. Let's see. And now Jen, what is she going to do? I think she... Hmm. She will take a double blue and put it over here which has uh, made her pagoda not quite strong enough to be a super pagoda. It's also, for all intents and purposes, blocked this off. So you could still put a single um, thing down here, but it uh, pretty much means, you know, I'll, she'll never get to take this from me, but I'll never get to be able to make this a uh, super pagoda because I can't get... I can't get two tiles into this space since each tile is too big. Anyway, so she put that there, and then she'll go ahead and draw, I don't know, that. Okay, now back to me, back to my turn. Like okie dokie, I will continue on south, just nice and easy peasy. Uh, catching up with Jen's super lead she had from earlier. Now what I got? Let's see. And now Jen will. <laughs> I believe she will. Take this blue yellow and put it there and she has now made this a super pagoda okay and she draws a tile now it's my turn and let's see now here's the situation what Jen's been doing by extending this over here, she's having her blue extend over to my blue. She is actually trying to have this um, you know, province overtake this province and make me lose a pagoda, which will also, in turn, make me lose, uh, well, potentially make me lose this town. Yes, it would, because then she would have control, and so she, so I can't let her do that. Um, but she's really signaled her intention. She, you know, she's moved up slowly. She obviously didn't have a double blue, so it took her a few turns to get here. And so I've got to stop her. And I think I will do that. Well, see, what I won't do is I won't put any kind of blue here because that would then create the situation where we have one big super province and it has to be decided who controls it. And in this case, since I only had two before the marriage and Jen had five, she would win control and I would lose and then, you know, and so on. So I'm definitely not putting that there because that's what she wants to do next turn. So I have to stop her from doing that. And I think I've got just the piece to do it with. I will put this... Oh, well, if I put this double red here, then I will have, you know, cut off that so she can't get her blue to mine. And I also will have benefited because I will now, I will get another pagoda onto the board because this red has become a super pagoda. So that's nice. But I'm taking a bit of a gamble because if Jen has a double blue, she can still reach around it and go there. So, do I worry she has a double blue or not? Because if I want to not take a chance, I can just go ahead and do this. And, um, you know, and then she's pretty much cut off. She can't get to that blue anymore, but my blue can't expand, and I can never exp expand this yellow. So that's, I, you know, I can never get this, uh, this double goat out. So now I've got a gamble. Do I want to take a chance and assume she can't expand like that? Because what are the chances she'll have a double blue? Because that benefits me more, because I get another double pagoda, I get another pagoda out on the board, and you know, and this becomes unassailable and, and stuff like that. Or alternatively, I could try to cut her off by using because I've got this double yellow she doesn't know about. I could put this double yellow down here. Again, completely saves this blue, so she can't you know usurp me. Um, and well, actually, that's not bad because then I can I can put another yellow if I ever get another yellow over here, and then this becomes a super big space. 
But then Jen could stop that expansion by putting pretty much anything right there. And it all depends on, I don't know what she's got. If she's got any kind of double, see that's, I mean, if she's got any kind of double, that blocks out. I think I'm going to go with the other one. I'll put this red here, get another Pagoda on the board, and take the chance that she could not expand. Let's see. And so what did I get? I get a new tile. Alrighty, and then Jen. And let's see, now I find out she had a double blue. Turns out she did not. So she cannot get to it. What's she going to do? I believe... Hmm. I think she's going to back off from that. Let's see. And instead, she is going to... Take that move she made earlier. She's just going to start expanding down here um, and uh, not get into any more trouble. All right, and now back to me, back to my turn. Let's see. And interestingly, she's created this, um, you know, when she was trying to take me over, she's created this little stub here. So it would be kind of nice to put my uh, double yellow down and get right off the bat a triple, uh, triple yellow, start building towards a super. But that's not getting me any closer to these towns over here, which I really should be worrying about. Alternatively, I could uh, expand um, this down here and start moving, I mean, because one more yellow, I think that's what I'm going to do. So one more yellow, and this becomes a double pagoda, and then I'd have two pagodas next to her single pagoda, so I might be able to take this town from her. So that's what I did with my double yellow, and, but I didn't get any more yellows. That's a bummer. All righty, now what's Jen going to do? Let's see. So now Jen can see I'm going for that. And so this double blue she just picked up, she might want to use for those purposes. Oh, but, but even better, I kind of dropped the ball. Um, I was so pleased that she didn't, um, you know, round robin me and, and usurp that. I figured out, I, I, moved for, I, I literally forgot about it just now, but Jen has gone on ahead and gotten a double blue. Oh, I should have closed that gap. I gambled, I won, but then I didn't, oh, what did I do instead that was so great? I don't even remember now. Well, whatever. Okay, so there is now this big snaky super pavilion with these two pagodas that could exist anywhere. And what that means is there's now a gap. There are two spaces here. There were whatever, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces there. Jen wins the battle. My pagoda comes up. And um, now we have to reevaluate this town. This town has, oh, okay, um, but still, I'm still doing okay there because I've got one, two, three pagodas next to this town. Jen's only got two, so I don't lose control of the town, but I did lose, you know, um, you know, my foothold over there. So it wasn't that painful. It wasn't that bad a loss as mad as I thought it was. Okay, so anyway, that was Jen's move. Back to me. Let's see. Now, I still want to try and, without drawing too much attention to myself, drag this yellow over here to get this town, but I got no yellow, so I just can't do it. Let's see, but I do have another double red. Um, I think... Now, if I, I could use it to start extending towards this town, but I won't make it because uh, by right, leaving Jen the opportunity to build down here if she's got doubles. I think I'll just come over here and do this uh, double red because I just took this town. All right, and then what do I draw? Okay, and now, and see, now these are the trying times in the game. It's easy going when you got doubles because, you know, it's plenty of things. Your world's your oyster, but when you've just got um, uh, three you know, mismatches like that, what is your best move going to be, um, you know, that will help you the most and not help your opponent just piggyback off of what you've just done? Let's see. Um, oh, excuse me. Think Jen. Yeah, she'll start expanding this red thusly. So go with that. And now she's left me a yellow stub, but there's nothing I can do with it because I've just got all these uh, blue reds. So what am I going to do with the blue red? I'm probably going to leave a stub for Jen. Um, oh, actually, well, actually I should have double checked for Jen. Is there anything she could have done? No, there wasn't. All right. So with the blue red, that's all I got. What am I going to do with it? See, ideally what I want to do is have a place where I've got a blue and a red next to each other that are both belonging to me because then I, you know, like I could do this. It doesn't create a new stuff for Jen to build off of, but it does make Jen's blue province better. But you know, that might be better than um, allowing her to expand. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that, though. So I think I'm just going to make this red a little bit bigger, a bit more impressive, but also create this blue that Jen might capitalize on. 
Oh, yay, it doubles. Alrighty. And now, having done that, I believe Jen will capitalize on it by doing this. Now, if Jen had a uh, blue-yellow at this point, that would be so awesome for her because she'd be able to create two, but she doesn't. But she'll go ahead and do that, thereby creating this uh, double, or you know, th this uh, province there. And she draws. Let's see what she got. Okay, and back to me. Um, see, I've still got that. I've got another red-blue and another red-blue. I've got to do something with them. What I really want to do is create a place where my red-blues... Oh, no. I was going to say I have a place where I could benefit from that, but I don't really. Well, I do, I suppose. Just so I don't help Jen at all, I'll put these down here. You know, it doesn't do me any good. It was a stalling tactic that prevented her from being able to do anything while I wait to see what she's going to do. And I'm hoping now to draw another double. And I got another double, which is much more powerful. So I got rid of this in a way that didn't hurt me. Didn't particularly help me, but didn't hurt me. And um, let's see, back to Jen. What is she going to do now? All right, so with that in mind... She's going to do this and she's create another little double there. She draws. Let's see, can I benefit from that? I can't really because this is a, one of those situations where by putting this down here, all she's done is she's created a new uh, little province for herself and she didn't create any new stubs for me to build off of. I can't build off this red because it would benefit her. I can't build off this yellow. So that was well played, honey. All righty. And by honey, I mean the other side of my brain that always does better when I pretend to be my wife for some reason. Where Nothing weird about that. Okay, so I've got two yellows. I really should use them. I should... Yes, okay, for stars, I will. I'm going to take this double yellow and put it down here, which turns this yellow line into a super province, which means I've got a double pagoda, and now there are two pagodas next to this town as opposed to Jen's one, so she just lost this town. Ah, and it went to me. Let's see. And how are we doing? So now Jen is down to seven pagodas. I'm down to seven. Oh, wow, we're all tied up. We're still neck and neck. All right, and so what am I going to draw here? Okay, Jen's turn. Hmm. Ah, let's see. Well, I think she's going to do the same trick again. And having done it, she has now taken this town without giving me any um, edge. And she's gotten another pagoda because this is now a fiver. Just like that. Let's see. Well, actually, oh, I'm ahead of her, uh, since I spilled those over there by accident. Okay, oh, no, we're tied. That actually tied us up. Okay, and then she draws a tie. Okay. Coming down to the wire. I might actually finish this game. Why not? Let's see. Now, what's going to be smart for me? Still, this, this is the only town that hasn't been touched yet. Uh, but, let's see, and I can all, I, you know, I've got these two, which will let me put instant pagodas down, you know, because they're just doubles. But I want to do it smart, so it can build up to something else. But what could it build up to? So I've, and I've still got this. I want to be in a situation where this won't hurt me in a future turn. So I want to set up a place where I would have a blue and a red next to each other that I own, that I control. But looking on the board, you know, I've got this red, but Jen's got this blue. Let's see. And there's just super blue of Jen's over here. Now that's actually one thing I could do. This is a thing that doesn't particularly hurt me. You know, putting another blue out here for Jen doesn't really help her because it's already a super pavilion. It's not like she can put another pagoda down, just made it a little bit bigger. Um, and it's not like I'm particularly worried about her blue snaking over to control other stuff. But um, it does mean that I've put this red down and uh, not create a stub for her. Well, actually, that's not true. I have created stuff for her because now she, if she puts another blue here um, and extends this blue even further, she'd be able to take this town over. Yep, that's not good. This is the trick of the game. How to put these down and minimize the damage you do to yourself because you have to play them. But, you know, I think uh, instead I'm just going to hold on to that for a little bit and just play something I know is safe. Now, where would it be safe for me to play a double blue? I don't want it anywhere near this thing because I could lose it to Jen's super snake. Jen's got a smaller blue snake over here. She's got this little one over here. Um... Yeah, I don't really have... Actually, I'm going to do this yellow instead. I'm just going to play it safe and expand this down here um, and try to get to this thing without doing it in a way that would help Jen. And hopefully I'll draw something. Oh, double blues. Now that's nice. Now let's see what Jen's going to do. What is Jen going to do? Um, I believe she's got a nice, easy choice again. She puts this and this here. 
and she hasn't created any stubs for me, and she's now one step closer to having a super pavilion to get rid of another pagoda and another one over there. So that was nice for her. See, so she's actually making good use of her. Oops, shouldn't have shown it to you guys. Let's grab a different one. Uh, good use of her doubles, unlike me, whereas I'm just kind of floundering around. Um, let's see. So I think I will just go on ahead and take this blue here. So it's really far away from Jen's blues. And in a one, two, now I'm down to five. And Jen's still down at seven. So it's not looking good for Jen. Her cleverness might be a little bit too late. Let's see. And what's she going to do now? Well, I think she's going to do this. She's just going to continue with the cleverness. Um, that's created another super pavilion. And also pretty much this town will not be touched. I can't take it away from her. And she's only one away from getting a super blue as well. All righty. And then she draws. And you know she had to do something like that because she had no doubles. Yeah, she's having no luck at the moment. And back to me, what would I like to do? Let's see. I think I will um, you know, just do a little bit of a strengthening bid. I have now made this yellow a super. And this has gotten a little bit bigger without, again, helping Jen. And um, let's see. So I've got four pagodas left to Jen's uh, seven. She really needs to do something here uh, to turn it around before it's too late. And what is she going to do? Uh, hmm. What could she do? She's got that. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just do that. <sighs> she could take a big risk. And basically put another, I mean, she's got, she has no doubles. She's got all these singles. She could actually start trying to build a stronghold. She could do something like this, which just makes her blue a little bit bigger. And then, you know, she might try to have this blue expand over to mine. But unbeknownst to her, I've got so much strong blue, that would be a total destruction for her. So it'd be a big gamble for her to do it. And I think she's actually going to take a safer bet and uh, just put this out here which gives her another pagoda because she's now created a super pavilion up there. And that's what she gets. Oh, wow. Bad luck for her. Okay. I will go on ahead and do this guy, which gives me a double. And now on my next turn, I'll be able to do this, and this thing will take over that, and that'll get me, um, that'll help again. The strength of the doubles. And another double blue. Oh, my God. I'm going to win based off the strength of these pulls. So, and Jen, who's just gotten no doubles now for quite a while, what can she do to pull this out, to turn this around? Um, let's see. Singles. Now, she's got to be worried about this blue being taken over. She doesn't want that to happen. But she's got no good moves. You know, all she could do, I mean, she could do, she could start trying to block it off. I don't think she's going to succeed at that. Um, I think she has no choice. She just has to continue to hope to get some doubles, I think. So and she's made another over there. And, you know, oh, that's particularly interesting. But, all righty. And does she get a double? Yes, she finally does. We'll see what happens. Might be too late for her, though, because I just did this. Which means I've just taken this. So she's now fallen. And now I've only got two left to put on the board. Although, actually, no, no, no. Three left. Because I, you know, well, I, took, I took one of hers off the board. I didn't add one myself, but I took one of hers off. And I already had that town, so it's not like I grabbed that town from her. Let's see. And I draw another double. Come on. This is ridiculous. All right. Time for Jen with the first double she's gotten in forever. Can, is there anything she can do to um, change her... Yes. Well, here, okay. Maybe starting to turn around with her double. She'll go on ahead and do this which lets her create a new pavilion. And now that this town has two of her pavilions to one of mine, she, you know, I lose it. And she gains it back. And suddenly the tide has turned. It's four to three. Oh, my goodness. And let's see what she drew. All righty. Back to me. But still, I got all the doubles in the world. This is mine to lose. What am I going to do with that? I, you know, just in two turns, I could, yeah, but I really want to do something else. I want to take, with all these blues, I want to take more towns away from her. And so, you know, you know, and uh, at the same time, see, but which towns could I get from her? 
this town I'm never going to be able to get because this is the only space you could go and so it'd be and this town I'm never going to be able to get. Oh wow. Maybe I was complaining too much. Maybe gosh, she did she actually just turn this thing around with one fell swoop? I think she might have. What can I do with this blue? She okay, I got the, I mean I could continue expanding my super chain of blue, but that won't put any more pagodas on the table. So that's not like that helps me. And you know, interestingly, I mean, I've, I've got a much bigger uh, province of blue than she does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, actually, the same. But you know what? In theory, I could try to expand over here to take over hers. But that's the whole point. Once you've got a super pavilion, once you've got a double pagoda, this area can never be annexed. So, uh, and, and a super um, pagoda can't annex super pagoda either. So, you know that. Wow. These last few turns, it's suddenly neck and neck. And um, I think I'm going to stop right there. Oh, what a tease I am. I don't know who's actually going to win this. And I don't want to embarrass myself by making really dumb moves. But suddenly, you know, while it looked like it was a clear blowout loss for Jen, in one move, it suddenly turned everything around. And this is anybody's game right down to the wire. Um, okay, and I think that's enough of an extended playthrough of Chin. If you guys would like to hear some final thoughts, including um, some secret behind-the-scenes conversations I've had with the publisher, by all means, uh, continue on to the final thoughts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.